All right, Shalom. Want to give all praises to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, Bashem Rakakwadash. I like to give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's hopeful elect scattered abroad, teaching His word of sincerity and truth. All right, this is gonna be a quick one. Um, you know, you know, I'm just gonna just jump into it, man, because uh, you know what I just witnessed. You know, just uh, you know, this is why we need Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. You know, Baba Kasha, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, may he come quicker. All right. And um, because, you know, there's a lot of men, not me per se, but guys I was hearing, um, you know, talking and and they was talking about this black woman, you know, and we always get into it, you know, and show and show you the nature of of the so-called black woman today. You know, you black women starting with you, you know, that tribe of Judah. You know, because Judah is the top tribe, you know, and basically all the other tribes follow after, you know, and now being that that top tribe is at the bottom, you know, it's like Judah is the worst out of all the other tribes. All right. Now, you women, the ventures is, is going to fail. You know, these men was talking about how, you know, he was going back and forth with his chick on the phone, loud, all mad and shit. And um, all I could think about is the scriptures, like, only if you knew the truth. You know, I, I don't, I'm, the, I'm, the, I'm very, very thankful the Lord brought me into this truth. You know, as long as I've been in this truth, you know, which is uh, next year would be, I believe, 10 years maybe. But, um, but um, I can't see, you know, being with a woman and not being a part of this truth. You know, being in a world is is a bad thing, man. Guys older than me still haven't mastered, you know, or received the understanding of the nature of your woman, you know? And you could do but much to help these men when they ask, but really what help is gonna be done? Because they don't believe in Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. And like the scriptures say, a wicked man is a wicked woman is given to a wicked man. Roughly paraphrasing. Alright? If you're a wicked dude, you know, judgment could be that your woman is wicked. You know, the most high is good for allowing the wicked to destroy the wicked. That's killing two birds with one stone, man. And um, you know, you women boy, you know, niggas are mad, man. And when the ventures fell, this is some real talk, man. When the ventures fell, you women are going to be in trouble. You're going to be in trouble, man. All that pride, all that arrogant, ignorant, ghetto, boisterous nature of a woman. The scriptures say men, all right, is going to be uh, humble. How much more are you women? It says men going to be like women. Roughly paraphrasing, okay? Because in that day, a man ain't not, is not going to be able to save himself. And I'm talking about in the near future. Sometime soon, man. Like, these women are is, is out of control. You walk around here, you know, with pride. And you know who the worst, you know, worse than the worldly women? The women that so-called believe, you know? If you ever come across a woman that she believe or your woman in the world, you being with her and being that, you know, you tied, you you basically, uh, you know, you with that woman and she know your whereabouts and things like that. She got your back. She going to know about the truth, you know, unless you were that, that type of brother that know how to uh, keep that separate. But, you know, once she learned, you know, you're going to be what now uh, subjected under the rule. All right. And if a woman in the world, brothers, that's why it's a beautiful thing to have the Lord, because the Lord teaches us how to move. You know, you don't want to lose your salvation to these wicked ass women. These women are out of control. You walk around here with blonde hair, blue hair. You dress, you dress provocative. You're advertising yourself as a hoe, but you don't want to be called the hoe. You know, now this this thing is. You know, I'm supposed to, 
I'm supposed to treat you according to what you think you are. When I see you as for what you are, all right? And that's dealing with those, that weird ass sexual preference, you know? Where this person is an actual female, but acts like a guy. And I'm supposed to play house with you. Just because you're playing house doesn't mean I should play house with you. I don't know you. And what I see is gender. You can't take that from me. That's how you identify somebody. So, you know, it's just madness out here, man. I don't want to rent, but, you know, you women, when this time, when Jacob's trouble approach, trust and believe you are in trouble. You are in trouble. This is uh, Isaiah chapter 32. And um, I start at four. It says, the heart also of the rash shall understand knowledge and the tongue of the stammerers shall be ready to speak plainly. The vowed person shall be no more called liberal, nor the chore said to be bountiful. For the vowed person will speak villainly and his heart will work iniquity to practice hypocrisy. And this is clearly talking about Esau. Esau is the chore, that mean, impolite, spirited person, pleasant, okay? I mean, peasant. Okay, the chole is Esau, and what Esau have done is messed you women up. Okay, you women think you got rights. You know what he did is basically set you off course, got you way out of order, and that's done purposely so that he could take that man. You know the man, because the man is the household, regardless. Is, is uh, take that man out the household, man. And now Esau has control over your children because it's all about the children. Because they say what? The children are the future. So as they manipulate the minds of your children, manipulate the minds of your woman, and the man is taken out, you know, the man is taken out of the house, Esau is your daddy. Okay? He's the chore. He's that villain. You know, you women, you eat. The wicked crumbs that he brushed across from this his evil table, and you chew it up, and and there is no hope and future for you, man. Not here in America. Not the the behavior that these women have, man. It's it's, it's you get used to it, but it's like enough is enough, man. I mean, this man, you know, I kind of felt bad for him. It's like damn, you know what I'm saying? Because you know just. You know, you had no, I had no choice but to hear him. And, um, you know, and I don't feel bad, but in a way it's like I want to help. But then again, it's like, that's judgment. Why would I get in the way of judgment? And then what I have to say, you don't want to hear it anyway. Because men of the world don't live by a certain standard. They live by animal nature. Okay? Niggas are always chasing butt, chasing drugs, and chasing his rap dream. Okay? You women always chasing dick. Always chasing dick. <laughs> Always chasing the club. Okay? And never a woman's moral values and principles. You know, women love to be over men. Women love to be wow. You know, it's, it's, it's amazing, you know, how the Lord, you know, kept Israel alive. You know, seeing all of this wickedness, that's why it's clear to understand the Lord got a great judgment coming here, man. All right. Um, let's read, continue. It says, the vow, for, verse 6, For the vow person speak villainly, and his heart will work iniquity. That's Esau. Esau uh, thinks, he has his think tanks, and he think of ways to continue to get you Israelites to go off. Okay? And the reason why the Lord be cursing out you black women is because who else is going to uh, tell you off? You know, niggas may say the most stupidest shit. Woman could be beating his face in with a bat. He gonna say, I don't hit women. You know, so you would rather just sit there and get beaten in your face with a bat and not to defend yourself? You're a fool, man. This thing about, oh, I don't hit women. Well, the most high is gonna kill women. Children. Men. You're gonna die, man. Anyway, 
for the vow person will speak villainly and his heart work iniquity. Now I'm not advertising for you to be an abuser and do these things, but let's let's be real. If somebody is beating you in the head with a bat, you're not going to defend yourself. Anyway, it says, and his heart will speak villainly to practice hypocrisy and to utter error against the Lord, to make empty the soul of the hungry, and he will cause the drink of the thirsty to fail. Exactly. Because what this devil does is put out false philosophies. Okay, he put out things to where you question your own God. You question your own faith. Then you get confused and say, well, nobody has the truth. Yeah, Jake's is fucking dumb as hell, man. You know? And it makes it makes a man that has some knowledge of the Lord angry. But then again, the most high have blinded them. So we understand. But Jake, you know, there's there's no helping Jake, because Jake don't want to leave from this society. They don't want to uh get their mind and their behavior. You know, they don't want to correct their behavior. And come up out of the world You know Niggas want to eat their wicked crumbs You know and And boast You know all niggas love is weed All niggas love is pussy Now don't get it wrong A man is supposed to uh, You know uh, Love a woman Because the scriptures say Man shall not live alone And a man's glory is a woman But we are at war Okay We at war of the mind Spirit man Faith. Some things just gonna have to get cut the fuck out. Some things gonna have to, uh, you know, put to the side on the back. I get it when I get it. Other than that, fuck that shit. Cause if you ain't thinking like that, you gonna be caught up in in your lust. You know. Anyway, I'm everywhere. My mind got so many things jumping. I'm trying to stay on the subject. I got so much going through my head Salakia um, It says verse 6 For the vile person will speak villainly And his heart will work iniquity To, pack, to practice hypocrisy Okay And to utter error against the Lord So everything that this devil does These Edomites Okay They, 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 do, they do things to cause uh, error of the Lord To make the Lord as if the Lord was wrong You know Man can't even deal with multiple women because these women believe that a man ain't shit if he deal with another woman. You behind my back. You doing you you a dirt bag. You this you that. When naturally by genetics a man is built to deal with multiple women. A woman is only uh, uh, genetically built to deal with one man. You women don't even understand that because you too caught up in trying to compete with the guy. Oh, he doing it. I could do it too. Well, guess what? You're going to have multiple demons on you, man. Judgment is going to come upon you. Okay? And you're committing adultery. One of the greatest sins. Which is a sin that the Most High said, Ye shall get put to death. This is why great judgment is coming toward y'all way, man. And when Jake start getting killed left and right, <sighs> ain't nobody crying for you. Ain't nobody crying for y'all niggas, man. You know? And especially that woman. Ain't nobody crying for no woman. Man, listen. Even these men out here that ain't nothing but niggas. Born in vain, man. That the Lord have blinded. They gonna be dissing the hell out of you women, man. It ain't gonna be about how bad you look. How bad you look with that fat ass of yours. All of them wanna go out here and get fat ass. When did, when did relationships is only solely built off sex? All these women do and all these niggas do. Is get into a relationship and, and based it off sex That's the main priority Sex, sex, sex Yes, that is a part of the relation And sex is to repropriate That's the natural order of things Man get with woman And he's supposed to have kids That is true But the time and season that we're living in And the, and the behavior that's going on Is so wicked You gotta refrain from that shit You gotta get your mind off of that bullshit Get it when you can, man. Other than that, fuck that bullshit, man. Because being drowned in that type of world, well, in this world, that lust is going to lead to your destruction, getting you caught up with Satan, man. Now, we can't stop Satan from messing with us and going through tribulations. That's what we're going to go through. 
But I'll tell you this, me personally, I want to avoid as much as I can, man. I'm not perfect, but we strive, you know? Anyway, it says, and to utter error against the Lord, to make empty the souls of the hungry. Who is hungry? Israel, man. You Israelites. Okay, let me say the elect. You know, Jake, Jake, they, they, they conditioned into uh, working. You know what's a proud man be proud of? I did my nine to five. I work. I work hard. Nigga, you a fucking slave, man. Now we all got to work to eat, of course. You got to do something to generate some money. But to be boasting about you work, you proud to be working. Nigga, fuck work. Fuck you talking about, man. Proud to work this and that. I got this. And, nigga, nigga, man, this shit going to be gone, man. Niggas is proud to be slaves, man. What have Israel come to? Is Israel a homeborn slave? Like, damn. You're not tired? Niggas don't even think in that way. You know? Because they don't have the spirit. They don't know nothing. They, this is this is life. You live, you die. You work till you die. <laughs> you know? There's nothing else. You smoke, drink, fuck the hoes. Bitches. Every bitch that walk by, niggas holler at them, man. It's like that dude Chris Rock said, man. You know, if a nigga hold the day, if a nigga hold the door for you, he throwing dick at you. If the nigga say hello, you look beautiful today, the nigga throwing dick at you. You know, that's why you women are hoes, man. You can't even see when a nigga throwing dick at you. Niggas all all these niggas want to do is fuck you stupid ass hoes, man. Girls ain't shit. And I'm saying this to the I'm not, you know, you women that that follow your how about me, I was shy, you in the spirit. Keep doing what you're doing. But the mindset of these wicked ass, dumb ass bitches. All these niggas doing is fucking you hoes, man. You dumb ass bitch. Women are stupid, man. These wicked women are stupid. That's why the Lord deprived them understanding. You, you, you know, have no mind. It's easy to, you know, to get a woman. Just compliment her. That's all you got to do. You know? Hey, you got a chick at the job. You know what I'm saying? Man, these women are easy, dog. Easy, man. She she may not be feeling you the way you ain't got no haircut, shape up. Compliment her egg day. Get a little compliment. Hey, you look nice today. Keep it moving. Do it again when you see it. Don't don't do it too much. <laughs> you know, be like you stalking or every gotta break your neck to say something. Nah, do it in in in, in uh in space. And next she gonna be on your you know, on your dick, man. And come on, man. But anyway, let me continue to read. So like I said, I'm everywhere. I had a few thoughts. I was a little hype, you know, listening to that. But anyway, it says Isaiah 32 and 7. Lord willing, this lesson will be edifying to those of the whole for elect. You know, take heed, man. Be in the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Um, don't pray for the wicked. You know, pray for the righteous. Inquire how the righteous is going to be saved and not how the wicked is going to be destroyed. You know, so we do these shows for the elect. We speak to each other. And, and certain little things sometimes help, you know, help brothers, you know, in their travels. And maybe something they didn't know or something they, they learned. You know, I learn all the time for the brothers and from the apostles and the elders, you know, little gems that be spoken through the lesson, man. Anyway, it says, verse 7, the instruments also of the chul are evil. He devises wicked devices to destroy the poor with lying words, even when the needy speaketh right. Okay, so this devil is a bona fide liar, man, a deceiver. He can't stop lying. Like I said before, when, a, when Elder Apostle Tahari did one of his shows, and I think I put on a comment board, this is a while back, I forgot what show it was, and um, it just hit me. Man, Esau, he can't stop lying. Even when the kingdom come, okay, and Yahweh shall return, even in the kingdom, when they be put as slaves and brought back to that low estate, these Edomites gonna still say they ain't the Edomites. I guarantee it. Because that's how wicked they are, man. These Edomites going to be in the kingdom. And some of them going to be like, I ain't an Edomite. Because <laughs> they can't stop. They can't stop to save their life, man. Um, verse 8. But the liberal devises liberal things. And the liberal things shall he, shall he stand. Rise up, ye women that are at ease. Hear my words, ye careless daughters. 
give ear unto my speech. Exactly. All right. You know, it's time to rise up. You women are, that are of the elect. You know, if you of the elect, rise up, man. Meaning, wake up out of sleep. You know, learn, learn, learn to have faith in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. Pray. You know. You know, the main thing you should do is uh, if 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 the Lord pray to the Lord to give you a man of the Lord, and once you receive a man of the Lord, stay in your lot. You know, stay with that man until the end. You bail out. That's your ass. You commit adultery. That's your ass. Straight up. Because the man is the covert. All right. As the scriptures say, a man shall be a covert from the tempest, man. From the storm to come. You wait till the Lord give us spiritual powers, man. Whew. I'm telling you, you women going to be in, in a bad case, man. Especially for all the pride. No, no mercy that these women don't show. Women don't show. No, these women, yo, women put this makeup on their face and they paint their lips and they act cute like you supposed to. And then you supposed to treat them like they cute. Nigga, I see right through you. You're a demon. I'm going to talk to you regularly, man. I'm not giving you extra. I'm not going to deal with you uh, gent, uh, extra gentle and polite because you think you cute because you got makeup on your face and your hair done you just like everybody else man you know women kill me with that you know um what's the scripture say um about judging don't judge according to appearance you know women you know these women get their hair done they get their face paint their lips painted you know she keep constantly doing this and then she talking to you acting cute And then she talking to you acting cute. And, and she expects you to be feeling her. Well, I ain't feeling you. You know? And then they look at you like, what's wrong with you? You too manly. Oh my God. You know? Like, yeah, get the fuck out of here, man. Most I gonna destroy you wicked ass women, man. It says, rise up ye women that are at ease. Hear my voice, ye careless daughters. Give ear unto my speech. What is the Lord's speech? The Bible. Okay, who, who is speaking the words of the Lord, the prophets? You know, instead of hating on the men of the Lord, listen, you you better take heed now. You know, some women, you know, this, this last woman that I dealt with, you know, that bitch out of there. And, and if you watch it, may the most kill your wicked ass, bitch. Word up. But, um, because you're a demon. You're a demon, you know? And I hope none of you brothers out there you know, uh, that, that know this woman, you, you know, she could deceive you, maybe not tell you the full story or tell you my half of the end or whatever. And she thinking she could deal with another brother and make it. You, you women are fucking out of your mind, man. You out of your mind, man. So as a brother, don't, if, if you hear about a woman dealing with another brother, don't deal with that woman. I, I promise you, I promise you, man, stay out of that. Stay out of that, man. You know, it's plenty of women out here, man. Plenty of women out here to deal with, man. And um, as the apostle said years ago, that stuck with me. Because we learn, man. I, I learn a lot from the apostles. You know, Elder Apostle Gabar, Tahar, Ramlab, Rakhav, Elder Manatazak, Sakur Elder Sakuran, okay, uh, Elder Ayatun. Over the years, these men have helped me. Helped me through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem Yahushai on how to go about being in this truth and how to live uh, my life, man. Honest, honest truth, man, you know? And of course the brethren that's around me that been there, you know, we all each other's crutch, man. You know, they helped me, I helped them, you know, in, in that spiritual way, you know, to grow, to endure. But, um, you know, ah, it's locking, man, shit. <laughs> it just burns me up, you know. You, you, you can't deal with it. You, you can't. You can't go out here uh, dealing with different men and thinking you're gonna make it, man. So once you get with that brother, that's it, man. So rise up, you women that are at ease, man. You know, look, I'll see nothing but demons out here, man. You know, no good for nothing. You know. 
Anyway, rise up, ye women that are at ease. Hear my voice, ye careless daughters. Give ear unto my speech. Many days and years ye shall be troubled, ye careless women. And notice the Lord called you careless, man, because you need a hedge. Every woman need a hedge over them. You know, you got these women that say they independent. They don't need no man. You a damn lie. Well, I'll tell you this. Maybe not as of right now because Esau gave you benefits. You know, he, he uh, makes it more lighter for you to make it in this society as a woman, especially with children. Because you can go down there to, uh, you know, to your downtown local, uh, 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 what you call it, um... Uh, you can get food stamps and all that nature, you know, and all that stuff, man. You can put your man on child support. Really, that money don't even do anything for you, you know. But for a man, it's a lot harder. Now, I'm going to be honest with you, brothers. You know, I'm a single parent, all right? And, you know, my my uh, children's mother had passed away years ago. So, I've learned, you know, when I had to use the system, you know, this this social worker even told me to my face, you know, down down at welfare. That's the that's the name I was looking for. Welfare. She said, she said, she said, let me tell you something, young man. Now she don't know I'm in the truth and anything, and you know, we play Clark Kent, Clark Kent. You know, I'm always listening. I'm always the person that listen. You know, I downgrade myself just to you know, to uh, be humble to listen. And she said, let me tell you something, young man. She said, she said, look, you take my number because she was um, she was feeling bad for my situation. Right. This is, this is a couple of years ago. She was feeling bad about my situation and I had to take over, of course, put everything in my name and all that stuff. And I had to go down there, deal with all that, all that. Right now, she said, let me tell you something, young man. She said, she said, welfare. She said, "Wait." She said, "There's a small, a small rate." She basically, she said, I, "In a, I can't remember exact words, but what she said, she said, welfare do not help men as as much as they help women." She said, "You're a single parent." She said, "You'd be lucky that they don't give you a hard time." She was telling me they prepped them down there. I don't know if this was years ago, like five, six years ago, you know. They prepped them down there. Uh, into how to interrogate you and you know and and uh, to not really help you know but women they automatically get that help definitely if they put their man on child support so this woman social worker that was working there she told me this man and she said take my personal number anything you need hit me make sure you call you know call me and I'll get it done for you because she was feeling bad and that was the spirit of the Lord you know that woman helped me a lot you know and um because the system is rigged, man. You know, and you women, you know, you just eat those wicked crumbs up that 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 benefits the benefits, and you don't even care. You know, what people what our people don't realize what you wear, how you act, your behavior, it affects your whole race. It affects your whole nation, man. You know, and women don't even care because they feel like they can just get another man. You know, but that's why. When you're talking about marriage, you know, you got these women that have these prestigious jobs. She ain't corporate. She making over 100000 a year, you know, single, graduated, alumni, you know, all that good shit, right? And she want to settle down. She want a man of her speed, a guy that, you know, that's on her level. She want to be married and want to be in love. Them women be better. And they realize that none of the black men that are comparable to her status, they don't want to fuck with her. They ain't fucking with that black woman. <laughs> they going to deal with some Edomites, man. They going to deal with uh, some Moabites. <laughs> so they only could really deal with the niggas that be at your local bar, the thugs at the club, car bumping, all that. Them the niggas they could deal with, but they don't want that because he, he a leech. He, he a leech, you know? So being independent, is it really is it really a good thing? I think not, man. The Lord made man and woman to be together, man. But unfortunately, we are living in these times, 
all right well you got to put you got to give your body and you got to give your body as a living sacrifice to your how about shimmy how shot man you know and you women you got to give your body over to your man who is giving his body over to the lord as a living sacrifice that's how this thing works man mm -hmm. all right i'm a little bit everywhere so bear with me i hope i hope this is edifying to you brothers you know i'm kind of speaking openly with an open mind in this lesson all right but um let me finish the scripture this is isaiah chapter 32 and verse 10 it says many days and years ye shall be troubled ye careless women for the venture shall fail and the gathering shall not come so eventually that gathering okay like we saw at the beginning of this year with the government shutdown that gathering is not going to come what are you going to do now i remember i a testimony uh, a few years back when hurricane sandy hit this place and here over here in north new jersey we were uh out of lights okay and gas and and for me it was seven days and uh throughout that week that it was going down i was working at this hospital and um you know women that's there of course you got your different forms of women pride you know older younger and it was a set of women that you know young chicks thinking they cute you know i was you know i was doing housekeeping work you know i was always in and out of the places cleaning the floors and stuff like that and they would never speak you know because they figured you know i wasn't appealing you know i'm not got the shape up i ain't macking to them and you know i'm just doing the work look like a damn janitor and shit you know what i'm saying and they would never speak but when that happened it was about what the fourth it was about the third day the fourth day going to work still had to go to work you know these women started hey how you doing talking to me and shit hey um trying to laugh make me laugh you, you want a cup of coffee i don't drink coffee oh you just trying to give me that um could you you think could you get me some gas you know uh you know i hit you off with a few dollars i started laughing man and they thought i was laughing with them but i was laughing at them because these are the same bitches that will never speak and they had the nerve to try to uh, uh, went over my heart with gifts to get me to help them because they didn't want to be in the long lines. Man, I said, I said, yeah, I'll do it. <laughs> I left. I never came back. They saw me again. You going to do it? I said, nah, I can't. I said, I got to get my own gas. Now I was giving them the run around now, man. But, you know, being that I was in the truth, this is a few years ago. Hey, I can't. We prophesied about that, man, in that time, man. You know, and I can see, you know, how you women is going to be in need of a man. You know, when the lines were long, niggas was out here ready to scuffle, ready to fight over some gas. Yo, you literally had to drive 30 minutes, 45 minutes away just to get some gas, man. <laughs> it's going to get hectic out here, man. It's going to get ugly out here, man. You literally had to drive that far away just to get some gas. I remember uh, another testimony. I was down in uh, Florida. Hurricane Katrina affected my life. When Hurricane Katrina hit, it also hit the shores of Miami and Florida. My school was hit bad, terribly. The school was messed up, you know? And I remember this is, uh, you know, at that time, we had to uh, we had to go drive to these McDonald's, you know, to get food. You know, I had to go to McDonald's and long ass lines. So, you know, with all that being said, with those things happening, that was a glimpse. And I take all that with heat because I see the spirit you know people started to get restless uh on this on about the seventh day of the the blackout of hurricane sandy um you know people were already at the job was so fed up it was from day one it was cool couldn't get no candles day three day four day five niggas was getting mad i remember this like yesterday and at the point everybody the job was like i ain't coming to work no more fuck this i ain't got no lights Yo, we about to go march down at PSNG. They already started announcing and gathering all these folks to go down there to the building of PSNG, and um, and to uh, and to uh, and like like yo, cut our shit on because there was other places, other city like uh, next over like Union, you know, East Star, and certain other cities they had lights. And it was like, why the hell I don't like saying on? So they was getting to the point where they was about to start wilding, and then all of a sudden, that seventh day. Them lights came on, man. You know? 
And I was like, damn, that's completion. You know, all praises to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. You know, but um, I ain't, that's it, man. I ain't gonna leave it too long. I'm gonna finish this up. This is Isaiah chapter 32 and uh, verse 10. Many days and years shall ye be troubled, ye careless women, for the vengeance shall fail and the gathering shall not come. You know, we prophesize the end. That's what we prophesize about because that's what we living in, okay? And the vintage is not gonna come. It says, trouble, uh, tremble, ye women that are at ease, be troubled, ye careless ones. Strip you and make you bare and gird sackcloth upon your loins because right now you're supposed to be mourning, man. You're supposed to be mourning, all right? And, and, um, and desiring the day of the Lord, all right? I wanna read another, um, Quick precept. This is uh second Ezra. Believe this is in the ninth chapter. Let me see. Yeah, second Ezra chapter nine. And uh, I start at seven. It says, "And every one that shall be saved and shall be able to escape by his works, and by faith whereby ye have believed." So, in order for you to escape these perilous times gotta have works you know even you women gonna have works because if you believe in your husband you believe in your how about shimia was shy that's works you support you know you there all right contributing to the body and in your lot in your way all right that's works man okay scriptures say he that give a cup of cold water to one of these little ones in the name of a disciple shall not lose their reward all right so it says, um, shall, uh, every, and everyone that shall be saved and shall be able to escape by his works and by faith whereby ye have believed shall be preserved from the said perils and shall see my salvation in my land and within my borders. For I have sanctified them from, the, from me from the beginning. Then shall they be in pitiful case which now has abused my ways and they that have cast them away despitefully shall dwell in torments. For such as in their life have received benefits and have not known me. So because you have all this other shit in your in your way, you have not known the Lord. And like I said before, man, we're coming into a time, okay, when these lights get cut out, when it's addition among men out here, Jacob's trouble, when they're forcing that RFID microchip and they open up these concentration camps here, all right, in America, which they already are. You know, and they have Ishakar, which is the Mexicans, the you know, crossing the border. They have they, they working them they, they working right now in those in those camps, those detention camps, man. When 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 this time comes, you it's gonna be a shame that you don't know the Lord, man. All right. The scriptures say the knowledge and wisdom shall be the stability of thy times. All right. So it says, uh, for in such for such as in their life have received benefits and have not known me. For they have lofted my law while they had yet liberty, and when yet place of repentance was open unto them, understood not but despised it. So not alone, so yet alone, you understood not, but you despised this truth. You despised this truth. All right? Let me see something. Despise, meaning... Let me go to the despise. Not only you know you don't know the Lord, but you despise this word. It says despise to look down on with disrespect. You see that? To regard as worthless or distest or distasteful. So you despising this truth is not tasteful to you, it's distasteful. You think that this word and this gospel and how we preach and we do these shows and you know these videos that it's worthless. You know, you think what we're doing is worthless. <laughs> A lot of you YouTubers, you watch us, you know, that's where you get your ideas from, you know. And you think that what we're doing is worthless because we're not receiving a penny like you. You know, YouTubers, they get that, um, they get that, uh, YouTube pay, you know? But guess what? 
the, the Lord said that um, that our, uh, our, uh, our treasures are stored up in heaven, man. All right. He's not forgetful of our works. So it is useful because the times are coming. And that's why a lot of you people, you hope like hell that we're not right. You know, you keep hoping that we're not right, but we are. All right. Through the spirit and power of Yahweh Ba Hashem and Yahweh Shai. So uh, I'm going to finish this up. This is 2nd Ezra chapter 9 and uh, 11. And they had lofted my law while yet they had liberty. And when as yet place of repentance was open unto them, understood not but despised it. The same must know it after death by pain. And therefore be thou not curious how the ungodly shall be punished and when, but inquire how the righteous shall be saved. Whose the world is and for whom the world is created. All right, so you know, I'm gonna leave you with that. Gotta go. So, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's hopeful elect scattered abroad, teaching his word of sincerity and truth. Shalom.